As vaccinations are open to larger groups in our region, the focus starts to turn to those who cannot get a vaccine right now children and today a step forward as Moderna announced some children in its clinical trial will be vaccinated right now. The Pfizer vaccine is approved for anyone age 16 and older Moderna and Johnson and Johnson approved only for adults 18 and older. Kids make up an important part of the puzzle to reach herd immunity. Take Missouri, for example. A 2019 estimate of the state's population shows roughly 22% of the state's population is under 18. All the parents out there, you likely have lots of questions you want answered before getting your child vaccinated. I know I do. Like, will it be safe? I team reporter Jessica McMaster sits down with some moms who took their questions straight to the pediatrician. We're all pretty excited to, to get our kids vaccinated and back to school. My kids are in virtual too and we have a countdown on the wall. Moms across the Kansas City Metro are also going virtual to ask pediatrician Dr. Natasha Bergert about all things related to the COVID-19 vaccine and kids. COVID has been... Tiffany Long's 10-year-old son has provoked seizures. Do you foresee any sort of issue with people who have seizure um, conditions or epilepsy. We haven't seen that in the adult stuff. Dr. Berger says it's not clear if the data in adults translates to children in cases of seizures, but the dosage could make the difference. The kids have a nice, healthy, squishy, comfy immune system that is just right to start reacting, right? Very different than mine or my mom's, which really needs a lot of information in order to get its wheels turning. And so I could speculate that if the dosage is high, that that's going to trigger a bigger response, which may induce a febrile seizure or a situational seizure or something like that. Hi, my name is Lauren. Next question from Lauren Simmons. So one of our seven-year-olds, he has, he is a type one diabetic. And so I would like to know when will the vaccine be available uh, for him? Oh, I hope soon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right now, trials are underway at Children's Mercy for children six months and older. Some of my parents are opting in, especially for kids that are cancer survivors, kids that have autoimmune disease, kids that have fragile asthma, like other high risk conditions, kids that are obese, that like that, that may be an avenue to have a front row seat to be able to get one of these vaccines. Even if your child gets the placebo, Dr. Berger says when the trial is complete, your kid would be first in line for the vaccine. You can also drop out of the trial at any time. Is there Way that I Amy Sue contracted COVID during her first pregnancy with baby Philip. Is there any research or evidence shown if I get the shot but get pregnant? Or if perhaps I get the shot and didn't realize I was pregnant? And will it have any effect on my baby? If you got COVID when you were about six months pregnant with Philip, we know that you made antibodies against uh, COVID, and that was that was given to Philip. Dr. Berger says Philip will be protected for six months, but the antibodies wane. Currently, it would still be recommended that you get the vaccine when you're eligible, even if you're trying to conceive, and in any stage of pregnancy. Because pregnancy, as you know, and I'm sure you experienced, is a high risk condition if you get COVID. A mom on Facebook wants to know, can the vaccine trigger an autoimmune disease or how might it affect children who are already diagnosed? We don't know. Uh, the auto, uh, people with autoimmune diseases were excluded from the Pfizer, initial Pfizer and Moderna trials. But we do know. We know that viral diseases can, tr viral diseases themselves can trigger autoimmune. So while there's evidence viruses can trigger autoimmune conditions. But we haven't seen the opposite. We haven't seen how the vaccine might change to develop autoimmune. Dr. Berger says it's also not known if the vaccine protects those who are immunocompromised. And this would go for our cancer survivors too. If you're immunosuppressed, we don't know if you're, we could give you the vaccine. I don't know if you're going to react to it. Another mom wants to know, is the vaccine safe for kids? Dr. Berger says it's not a question of if the vaccine is safe, but rather what dosage should be given to a child. A dose that we give to a 65 year old is going to be very different than a dose that we might give to your four year olds. Dr. Berger says it's likely only one vaccine maker will be selected in our area because of how the trials are conducted. Doing a vaccine trial on kids takes a ton of manpower. And one more question from a mom on social media. Will the vaccine reduce the child's likelihood of contracting or spreading the virus?
We are researching that heavily in adults, and initial data says that it is decreasing transmission in adults. A lot of parents are also wondering, does my child even need a vaccine? Dr. Berger says yes, they do. Many kids, she says, are becoming severely ill, needing ICU support, and they're also part of that long haulers group that we're seeing. In terms of herd immunity, Dr. Berger says kids will also need to be vaccinated if we want to achieve that. In Kansas City, I'm Jessica McMaster, 41 Action News.